Donald Trump has been holding daily press briefings during the pandemic, but his rambling, nonsensical answers raise more questions than they answer. So we decided to hold another one right here, right now. That's right. Donald Trump is here in my attic and ready to go. So without further ado, it's time for the late night White House press briefing. Thank you very much, everybody, and good afternoon. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, yes, thank you. Seth Meyers, Late Night with Seth Meyers. Mr. President, you look terrific. With all the salons closed down, who's doing your makeup these days? The Army Corps of Engineers. President Trump, these briefings seem like they're getting longer each day. What do you take before you come out to keep your energy up for so long? Ten drugs. Mr. President, at this point, what's the only thing that could get you out of office? The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Why do you seem so miserable right now? Because I happen to be in the White House and I won't be able to go to Florida. All right, yeah, Florida. How would you describe your racism the past few months? Very China-centric. Personal question, how's your marriage holding up during the lockdown? It's a tremendous uh, challenge. It's terrible. How do you think people will remember your presidency? This horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world. What was the fastest you've ever tuned out of a conversation? Two very smart people walked into my office and they said, listen. Oh, that's fast. President Trump, you've talked a lot about the war on the coronavirus, but can you tell us what the war on mayonnaise is all about. Slowing the spread, stopping the spread. What did you say when Eric and Don Jr. were little and they got lost in the mall? I didn't see him, I didn't look for him either. How's your cholesterol these days? In the 400s, 300s, and sometimes even in the 500s. Is it true you can't spell Massachusetts? Same thing with Michigan, same thing with Illinois. Not sure if you're the right person to ask this question. Who grows that baby corn you find in Chinese food? Smaller farmers. President Trump, how would you describe your relationship with Chicken McNuggets? They like me and I like them. President Trump, what do they play on KTU 103.5 FM, the beat of New York? The monster hits. Mr. President, if you were a magician, what would you call yourself? The great pandemic. There's a lot of rumors, Mr. President, but is it true you're sending killer bees to different cities? 6.6 .6 million to New York and New Jersey, 1.8 million to Chicago, 1.7 million to Detroit, and 837,000 to New Orleans. Mr. President, can you talk a little about the weed gummies you've been taking? They're very high quality. I said, you gotta go for the quality, and these are quality. What's the name of that show with Stewie the baby? Smart guy. No, that's not it. Good guy. No, the dad's name is... Peter. Right. And that guy in the wheelchair? Joe. Okay, so you've clearly seen it. Smart guy. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. What do you think they would have called it if a guy named Nathan invented the World Wide Web? The internet. What are your thoughts on the figure four leg lock? A very powerful hold. Mr. President, what do you say when you sit down at a restaurant but the placemat doesn't have a maze on it? Hopefully it's on the other side. Mr. President, can you describe your sons in five words? Tremendous glut of oil. Who invented meatballs? Sweden did that. What's your favorite Kurt Russell movie? Big Trouble right next door. What was your nickname in high school? I was called racist. What's your favorite British boy band? Strong Direction. What would you say about the testicles featured in America's Funniest Home Videos? They're getting hit very, very hard. As fast as you can, what's the name of the hunchback in Notre Dame? Quasi-public. President Trump, when's the last time you ate a vegetable? 1917. We have time for one more question. Mr. President, what did you get inscribed on the inside of Melania's wedding ring? People cheat. Well, it looks like we're out of time. <laughs>